Hey guys, Louie here, and uh, good morning, and welcome to the weekend. I'm glad we made it. Um, I was uh, just preparing my video for this weekend, but I'm noticing some sales that are really worth taking a look at. Uh, there's some new coins out there as well. So a couple things I want to tell you before I get on to the uh, uh, some of these sales that are going on. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the week in review. All right, for the uh, for the week, uh, we have kind of a down week, just a marginally down week for metals, and honestly, a little disappointing because uh, I thought we had several opportunities to break higher in the metals and the miners, uh, but the stock market just put tremendous pressure on everything. And uh, um, well, let me tell you where we're at. Uh, gold is down twenty four dollars at uh, one thousand nine forty. Uh, silver is down about 70 cents uh, at 26.71, and it hasn't been that low for about four weeks now. Um, we have platinum down $3 at 9.21, and um, um, so uh, that's uh, gold up 27.46 for the year, silver up 48.31 for the year, uh, platinum down 5.83 for the year. And the story was really the stock market as uh, it lost um, a bunch of points uh, down from 28.654 down to 27,727. The Dow now down nearly 4% on the year. And it looks to me like uh, it was crazy markets this week, tons of volatility. And it uh, looks to me like uh, the S&P is sitting right on support. I think you'll literally know what's going to happen to the markets Monday morning if they are up or down. Uh, break below where we're at on the S&P right now uh, could see a pretty serious sell-off. And I think uh, the metals always worry about that. The miners definitely worry about that since they are stocks. And um, miners have been up and down and up and then right back down. So the miners had a poor week uh, losing uh, my basket of silver miners uh, down to um, <coughs> excuse me, 39% uh, up for the year, down from 45% uh, uh, last week. So uh, they're kind of giving up the ghost a little bit here, also setting on support. And I think they will take their clue from the overall market, but we will see. Um, the, uh, the base metals, though, um, are uh, apparently a safe haven. And my basket of base metals is actually up on the week fractionally. So uh, that is the week. We'll see what happens. I hope we don't get a big downdraft in the stock market, which could pull precious metals down with it. But... Um, the action was pretty good when the market was crashing. The metals were holding up pretty darn well. So people are seeing them as a safe haven. Uh, if you follow Bitcoin, uh, not so much there. Bitcoin has been in a massive sell-off and may go a little bit lower. So uh, watch that one as well. Uh, Bitcoin has apparently detached from um, precious metals. And uh, that's the week. Uh, a lot of worry out there, a lot of realization of what lies ahead uh, for the economy. And the uh, the Congress still twiddling their thumbs. Uh, I would think they're working pretty hard on a stimulus package this weekend, but uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, of course, the next package will likely also include... Um, uh, uh, movement on the digital Fed dollar, um, the cryptocurrency that the Federal Reserve is uh, planning for us to take away our privacy and control us uh, even further. So there are the markets. Um, I think we should move on and see what's for sale. Uh, so uh, yeah, premiums coming down, um, silver down uh, lower than it's been for a little while. There could be a break. You might you might see it penetrate that 26 level. I don't know. It could also break up and then, uh, you know, off to the races. Uh, I think you could flip a coin right now to see which way silver and gold are going to go. Um, so uh, let's take a look at these sales. If you like what you see, go ahead and grab some. You never know what Monday will bring.
All right, the thing I noticed first this morning is a, a pretty good sale over at Bullion Exchanges, and this is the website, not the eBay uh, part of it. Um, the first thing I noticed was uh, this 100 ounce silver bar, the poor Johnson Mathy bar, um, under 2900 And let's see if we can find that really quickly. Hold on. All right, here we are, um, and there are a couple to choose from here. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is. They both look poured. Uh, 2873, 2858. I showed you one of these last week, um, and, uh, you know, they had been going for much more when the premiums were higher. So for 2858, you can get one of these beautiful uh, poured Johnson Mathy bars, and they are gorgeous. Um, really good choice there if you're looking for a lot of silver. Uh, let's see what else they've got. All right, I'm on the sale page, and let me see if I can find those silver eagles. <clears throat> I tweeted this out this morning. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and give me a follow there. I've been tweeting uh, sales as, uh, as I find them and uh, coins uh, actually as I buy them. Is if you're interested in what I'm interested in. Um, silver, gold, and uh, collector coins. But uh, let's find the silver eagles really quickly. Uh, hold on one second. All right, actually not on the sale page, but yes, you can get silver eagles, um, random year or 2020s, same price as um, the, the random year, actually probably the, the better deal because 2020 will be a higher mintage year. For 3083. Let's go ahead and look at the random year. And of course, you'd have to buy in quantity. Uh, no, I don't want to buy that. <clears throat> I want to look at it. And there it is. Uh, we can buy one for 3173, or you can buy a monster box at uh, 3083. So uh, there you go. All the silver eagles you want for about 31. Uh, that premium is uh, still a solid four and a half dollars, something like that. But uh, and we'll probably drop further. So uh, there you go. If you're looking for eagles, um, not a bad price. Let's go over to the sale page. All right. If you are looking for gold, uh, here is a double eagle uh, 2019. Let's go ahead and click on that. I believe these are a little less than one ounce. Uh, yeah, 0.9675, pretty darn close to an ounce. So uh, if you don't have a double eagle, uh, these look to be um, almost uncirculated. So that'll be a good coin and it probably will not be cleaned. So 2000 bucks for a double eagle. I like that and I have several of those myself although there are a lot on the market. So the premiums uh, do come down on the uh, constitutional uh, when, when there's more inventory. Uh, secondary market bars, uh, 1991. You can pick up a beautiful gold eagle for 2040. Uh, the Krugerrand at 1999. But let's look at the latest release of the Queen's Beast. And uh, you cannot go wrong. With a Queen's Beast, highly collected, very beautiful, two ounce format, um, very desirable. And, uh, well, you're going to pay $65 for one of them. And if you want to get more, as low as $63. Um, so uh, I thought these were a little bit lower. Thought they were a little bit lower. But uh, anyway, so there you go at about um, 32 bucks an ounce. Um, the new Queen's Beast White Ho Horse of Hanover. I have to get a couple to complete my two sets. And I believe that is the end of the series. Are you collecting it? Did you get the uh, display box? I hope you did because uh, they're going to look much better in that box. And from my experience, when you sell them, um, they'll bring they'll bring a higher premium in the box than they will um, without the box. So uh, let's see what else they've got. All right, we've got the Lunars. Nobody cares. Uh, the mintage is too high on the Lunars. Um, platinum. Okay, so you can get a gram of platinum for 42 bucks. 
that is, uh, well, you know, there's a sizable premium there, but I've seen it more expensive. Uh, anything else? Okay, I want to show you uh, something else that I bought uh, yesterday or the day before. Hold on. All right, I'm over at uh, LPM Hong Kong, and uh, the, this website does not make sense if you're only buying one or two coins, <clears throat> but if you're going to buy a tube um, and they have something unique and uh, low mintage, I would go for it. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I picked up Una and the Lion here. Uh, let's see, hopefully I got it. Um, no, missed it. Hold on one second. Um, and this is not the Royal Mints Una and the Lion. Uh, this is, um, this looks to be an exclusive. Oh, come on. There it is. It looks to be an exclusive for LPM. And I don't know if that means that they will only be at LPM. Uh, sometimes they release their exclusives uh, to America as well. But this was uh, a no-brainer. And as soon as I bought it early in the morning the other day, um, I did a tweet on that. Um, 5,000 mintage on just a gorgeous rendition of Una and the Lion. As you know, the... Uh, the Royal Mints renditions were very, very popular. So uh, here is Una and the Lion. Let me see if I can... There's Una. Looking very smart. The Lion looking very fierce. Let's get that a little bigger for you. Uh, too big. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful coin? Now, that for me, this harkens back to the 2014 Britannia. Um, kind of a little bit modernized, but sexy coin and a long history, uh, and story with Una and the Lion. But what caught my eye here is not only the beauty of this coin, uh, well, not that side, <laughs> but, uh, look at the, look at the specifications on this. Um, where are they? Mintage. 5,000, only 5,000 of Una and the Lion. And uh, let's see if this is going to be a series. Um, I don't recall. Let's take a look here. Uh, first, first in the new series, you know we like those. And the mintage of 5,000. Uh, I picked up mine um, in the high 30s, um, 38, 39, something like that. A friend told me they were a little bit cheaper when they came out, maybe a dollar cheaper than that. Um, so you could have had these if you were quick for, you know, about six, seven, eight dollars more than a silver eagle. But the mintage of 5,000 and the beauty of the coin really got me. So I bought a tube. Uh, let's see what the price is today. In US dollars. Uh, come on. Yeah, they unfortunately they've raised the price to $47. But again, if you want to know about this stuff as I'm buying it, uh, follow me on Twitter um, at Losing Louie and uh, you can pick some stuff up too. I think this is a $70 coin and uh, that's what I would expect uh, to sell them for someday. Okay, so hopefully you like Una. Um, they also have, uh, if you were buying from there, um, they also have um, the new Queen's Beast as well and some other sales. Um, so awesome. I just think that's going to do really well. Uh, there are um, proof versions and gold versions. Get a look at what they're selling the gold for. Hold on. Oh, actually more than I thought. Oh, look at this. Oh, I see. This is the proof. Okay, so there was a proof that had a very limited mintage, um, and I think those started out around 140 bucks or something, and they're probably selling for above that now. Uh, I'm not, personally, I'm not buying any more proof coins. I don't like the dynamic of uh, the high price, and then you have to sell it at a much higher price. And then right when you get to sell it, you'll find a nice big spot, right? And then you're out of luck. So I'm kind of done with exotic proof coins, but the BUs I'm all over. Uh, if you're looking for gold, look at this, $89 for a half gram of gold. Uh, that's an oddity, but still you might want one. Uh, let's see what the mintage is on that. 
Um, and I did buy some fractional gold the other day. I'll show you in a minute what I bought. Uh, specifications, 3,000 half grams of gold at $90. So uh, 60 times 90, $5,000 an ounce for that half gram of gold. Uh, so I'm not a taker on that. Uh, BU, they still have, but I don't think they have very many. Keep an eye for this uh, maybe in the U.S. if some of those come to Apmex or somewhere. Here's the quarter ounce uh, Una Gold, uh, $900 for a quarter ounce. So uh, you can see how high that is, uh, $3,500 for one ounce. But they're extremely low mintage. And the mintage on the one ounce gold is only 200 uh, they still have some in stock, but way, way too high for me. Way too high. Not interested, but you might be. I'm not saying that won't sell for more someday. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, there's a different Una. There's lots of Unas out there, and I don't typically buy the also rands. Uh, you know, the there's a winning coin, and then uh, another mint makes it, then another mint. But uh, I'll tell you that that image is a striking, beautiful engraving. That's why I bought it and the 5000 vintage as well. Let me show you what else I bought on the gold front the other day. All right, here we are at the Scottsdale Mint and prices are lower than they have been in a while. Uh, there's the 100 ounce uh, Scottsdale stacker at 2,922, 10 ounce at 296, get as many as you want. And uh, here are collector coins. I'll pass those. I've already reviewed uh, the Samoa Serpent. But uh, what I bought the other day, and, and this is um, not not because it's necessarily a good deal, but um, I'm converting, I'm selling some collector coins. And uh, the, the profits from those I'm putting into gold because I'm a little light on my gold percentage. I do want to be, you know, roughly 50-50 in gold, silver. Um, and um, look, look at these little guys here. Look at these little guys. One one hundredth ounce bar. So they're thin little wafers. Don't get the feeling that there's any size or substance to them. They are just little dudes. One one hundredth, less than a half a gram. But um, you know what? When gold takes off someday, when gold hits $10,000 or so, I could see these really doing well. And uh, so, yeah, I did pay, um, um, I bought a bunch of them. Uh, I paid about uh, 28 bucks, something like that, um, for mine. And yes, that is $2,800 an ounce, but check this out. All right, I'm on, I'm on the, uh, the eBay sold page, and Appmex is selling these at $43. And, uh, which, you know, some people will pay that if they really want some gold and they can't afford any more. Uh, Scottsdale is selling them at uh, 24 and 6 shipping, 34 and 6 shipping. They're selling these for about $40 on, uh, on AppMex. Uh, here's one sold for 34. Here's, uh, two that sold for 85. That's $42. So look at how desirable this fractional gold is. Um, so I didn't feel bad about paying 27, 28, uh, at all. Um, you know, fractional gold has its own premium. And I think it's wise to, uh, to keep that in mind. Uh, yes, if you went to the, um, LCS, I don't know that you'd get a premium on fractional gold. Probably not. But in the aftermarket and uh, as you barter in the future, and if you want an eBay store like I have, um, you know, the, the, this is a pretty nice premium, kind of a built-in uh, aftermarket retail premium. And again, um, you know, one ounce gold coins, uh, when the market moves higher and much higher, as I think it will, those one ounce gold coins, boy, they're, they're going to be a chunky amount of money. I mean, a, a gold coin someday is going to buy you a car. And uh, perhaps you don't want a car. Perhaps you just want a set of tires. Um, so um, I think I think these fractional golds uh, are not a bad investment considering the dynamic of premiums. I also have a bunch of the uh, Chinese Panda uh, one gram, and considering what I paid for them and what they're selling for now, 
uh, gold. Um, I was saying that, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, um, I bought those one gram Chinese pandas. I think they were about $45, which was uh, um, a pretty good premium at the time. And uh, now, um, you know, th those are going for nearly double that. Um, gold is not up nearly that much. So it seems to me that as gold uh, goes up, it seems premiums expand somewhat on uh, fractional uh, gold. So that is a dynamic I want to continue to take advantage of. All right, and while I'm on eBay, just a quick uh, update on the Libertads. Uh, the 2020s are still on pre-sale here on eBay, $45. Um, but to what I was looking at the other day, um, and I almost bought one. I think I still will. Uh, the two-ounce Libertads, they're 88, so they're actually... Um, Let's see, a little cheaper per ounce for the two ounce. The two ounce could be in much lower mintage than the one. So uh, worth a consideration. Um, uh, of course, these are still scheduled to come out sometime in September, as far as I know. So uh, every morning I would do a check for Libertad's at uh, JM Bullion and other places where they will be selling them at lower prices, at least to begin with. Um, so keep your eye open on those, and there's the two ounce if you wanted to uh, take a, a gamble. Uh, for me, uh, since I have a lot of Libertads, uh, I'm going to be selling. Um, so, you know, this year will be a one-off, uh, clearly a low mintage year. And, um, you know, with some of the premiums on, well, uh, let's, let's look at any year Libertad. Um, so here we go, uh, $38, 34 plus 4, 40 for the 2019. I don't think these prices are going to go much higher than this on the prior years. 2020 could do anything, I really don't know. But uh, I think it's a good time to uh, liquidate some Libertads uh, selling well above Silver Eagles at this point. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that and... Uh, We'll see what I translate that into. I've uh, been buying a few collector coins lately, so um, I may take that route. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, these premiums are just so nice because of uh, all the buzz about the Mexico Mint for 2020 that um, I think I'm going to be selling some of my BU Libertads. And uh, we'll see how that goes, whether that's a smart move or not. But uh, watch out for those 2020s. I will be buying, if the price is good, uh, like 33 bucks or something, I will be buying as many as I can carry. Okay, let's move on. All right, guys, in this segment, I want to talk a little bit about diversification uh, because I had a question the other day about what I thought about numismatics. And um, you, you may not know that, uh, that I do believe in diversification and actually have had a recommendation standing for years now. So what I, what I do is um, I diversify or my goal is to have a pie that uh, has actually four quadrants. All right. And the top two quadrants are bullion, um, you know, silver and gold. And uh, what I recommend, uh, you know, for the long term objective is half silver and half gold. So that would be 25% silver bullion, 25% gold bullion. And as I think I have uh, said over time, I've let my, uh, uh, I've let my gold percentage drop a little bit low. I still think silver is the better investment, but I want to be half and half so that I can take advantage of the gold silver ratio, um, both directions. If you only have one, uh, then you better be right. But if you have both, you can move those halves back and forth uh, when you want to. The bottom two quart quadrants, um, which are both about equal, consist of um, um, collector coins. So 25% uh, collector coins. And the last quadrant is numismatics. So I think a fully diversified stack um, consists of uh, gold bullion, silver bullion, collector coins, which uh, I often um, rotate out and buy something better, 
uh, with the profits and numismatics. All right. If you've ignored numismatics, you may want to take a look at those because uh, they actually, if you buy the right ones, they actually outperform everything over time. Um, so pardon the chainsaws. I've had chainsaws and dump trucks on all sides of my house this morning. Um, so uh, I thought we might take a look at uh, what I collect. Uh, this will be the last part of this video. But uh, um, and you'll see my collector coins rotate through the buys, the sells. Uh, next week, hopefully, I'll be able to show you what I did with the profits from the Simpsons series. Um, but for now, um, since I had a question, numismatics, do I think that they're a good investment? Well, let's uh, let's see. Let's see how they do. And of course, they do OK in all markets, in uh, bull markets um, and bear markets in bullion. Numismatics are um, have been a go to investment for collectors uh, for, you know, as, for history, as far as I know. What I collect are the Morgans. And uh, I do those in MS64, slabbed MS64s. So uh, I'm just looking at, uh, I'm back about two, three years here. Uh, let's see what I paid for this Morgan. Uh, 1902P. Okay, I doubt there'll be any details. I, I can try, but th that picture is probably not going to be there. Yeah, they're not going to let me uh, look at that picture there. But uh, I'm working on a set, and uh, it's almost a fool's errand to think you can complete a set of Morgans in a high grade, because uh, there are some that you could save your whole life for and never afford. But nonetheless, I started the MS-64 Morgans, and I'm trying to fill in the holes. And this is a 1902P. And as you can see, I paid $68 for it. Let's see what that goes for today. Okay, on eBay, I have looked for 1902P Morgan Silver Dollars in MS64. Um, and uh, my belief is with numismatics, if you don't collect in a higher grade, don't bother. Okay, so if you're buying, you know, cull, cull um, Morgans or whatever, or even lower grade or cleaned, um, numismatics, uh, don't, don't bother to do that. This is an investment in the future. So, uh, let's see what they're selling for. 1902 P MS 64. Uh, this is an old green holder. So that would have a little premium to it. 225. That, that's one of the, this is one of the rarer dates. Um, of course, most people start off with common dates and then very quickly realize how expensive the rare dates are. Rarer dates. These aren't even highly rare dates. Uh, here is another 1902. Um, a little bit of toning, selling for 288. Um, here is a plain old, uh, yeah, regular MS64. Nothing special about it. $250. Okay. Uh, here is one that is $89.95. Uh, let's look at that one. Now that would seem to be a bargain and he has sold, uh, 12 of those. So he must have had a whole bunch of these. And so even $90, still, um, still an improvement. Uh, anything wrong with these? No, nope. that's a good buy right there compared to the other ones, right? Uh, what else we got? Here's a toned one, $110. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to leave the 19th. Oh, you know what? That was a 1902 O. So forget that $89. So here are the asking prices. And you saw what I paid a couple years ago. And now you see what they're worth. All right. And I could go through the whole collection and do this with you. I'm sure the more common dates probably haven't appreciated as much as this. But uh, if you're going to round out your um, your diversification, consider numismatics. Um, but what I suggest is... Um, pick a coin or a few coins and become an expert at that one or two coins and then dive deep and learn everything you can about it and then go about collecting. And I would collect the graded versions because uh, most of us don't have the skill to know the difference between an MS-64 and an MS-63. And of course, the price would go down considerably in MS-63. Um, I collect the Blast White. Um, that's my preference, non-toned. 
but um, some of the toned versions carry even bigger premiums and are highly collectible on their own. If you want a toned set, uh, that'll be a tougher, that's a tougher get, um, but uh, some people like the toned Morgans. Um, I like my coins uh, shiny and white, but uh, there's a whole world of people that are looking for toned uh, numismatics. So that's the final segment, um, and uh, do believe in diversification because, uh, you know, if you've got four different things in your precious metals um, portfolio and you're wrong about three of them, um, but right about one of them, well, you can see um, that appreciation there is in the hundreds of percents, uh, not just the, you know, 50 percent that silver has gone up. Um, so that's why I recommend that, and time is working. Um, I'll link a video I did uh, years ago about this subject. And collector coins, you know, are a mixed bag. I'll, I'll get more into that in my next video. So that's it for this time. Hope you guys are having a great day. Keep the faith. Buy some silver today on sale or some gold on sale. Uh, could go lower on Monday. Could go higher on Monday. Um, but I don't think it's going to go a lot lower or a lot higher. I mean, a lot, a lot lower. It could go a lot higher over time. Um, so when you see those premiums down and you see spot price down, feel free to buy some. I know I will be. Okay, guys, have a great weekend. Louie out.